everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Bam Bam's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. entourage has that look on their face they know they've put the work in and you can see how confident they are for the battle that lies ahead Schedule 10 rounder. He loves popping that jab. I mean, he will target your head and set up everything else off of that punch. Well, he pulls you back a little bit off the jab, and then he fools you a little bit. You know, he's a little bit of a magician, a little sleight of hand. Then he makes you feel like he's going to push you back again, and he'll step back and he'll counter you. But that jab is what makes it all happen. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Placed right hands from both men. Missed the body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. One but gives one. Good work by the man. Bam Bam's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. And you see how he just set the table for that right hand after the jab. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang. Come right back with y'all. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Bam Bam's proving that he's here to fight. Just look at the punch stats. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Not able to land the headshot. Bam Bam's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. There's a good right hand. Bam Bam's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Locks away that headshot. Halfway through this round. Thank <laughs> you. 
Or he scores well with the double jab. Missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Okay, we're doing fine. But listen to me. We have to do more. And round number three is underway. But he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity? Where we have a Mexican styled fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American styled fighter. Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Aggressive people, aggressive style. Very thoughtful people, people that are very cerebral. Well, you're going to have a defensive style. You're going to have a very careful style. It's going to fit right in. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. The man's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Harry brings the jab right hand. Able to show you his blocking ability. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Bro, throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. You gotta fight. You gotta throw more. The man's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Well placed double jab. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the man. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Very good, steady double jab there. Oh, that's good stuff. 
fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the man. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. The man's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. That's classic work with the double jab. Blocks that belt line well. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. The man's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. The man's doing well here with that two punch combination. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Halfway through this round here. Yeah. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Blocks that punch. Final 10 seconds. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that power hook. Make him pay for his misses. Jab, jab. The start of the sixth round. The man's gonna just try to keep doing exactly what he did the entire first half of this fight. He put forth a game plan he noticed early on in training camp, and it's worked to perfection. Now you can see him zoning in on the target with that double jab. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Bam Bam. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Come on, kid, focus. Bam Bam's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Try 
tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Well, this round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with your ring set. Uh, this is one of those fights, Teddy. It just feels like to me where it's going to be tough to really score. I mean, it's been a close fight. Yeah, it's a hard fight to score because you have one guy maybe a little busier, but the other guy makes up for it because he's a little heavier. A little heavier with those blows. So it's a matter of maybe the taste of the judges what they prefer didn't get it done going to the body there Back to the, body. the man's got something to think about now he just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him his opponent scored well with the counter up and down side to side Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Nice strike after catching one by Bam Bam. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Halfway through the seventh round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the man. able to put his punches together that's a nice looking combo well that's the benefit of two and three instead of one flush right hand to the head ten seconds to go in the seventh Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. And we come to the end of the round. Keep busy and you beat him to the punch. Start of round eight. Teddy's got it a close fight. The man's enjoying a slight lead, but he has to sharpen up that defense. His opponent has been finding a way to land. Yeah, I'll be more specific, Joe. He's got to keep his backside off those ropes. That's where he's paying a price. Mark there going upstairs. Very accurate with the double jab. That's, that's. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the man. Well placed body shot again. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Hits him in the mug with the right. It is unbelievable how this fight 
is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, can deal with this kind of pace. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Beautiful, lindissimo, beautiful. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. That was good. You took a lot out of him that round. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Southpaw right jab, then the left hand. Impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Bam Bam's whiff in there, a big wide sweeping shot. And a perfect to counter against. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old plane, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize on it. Halfway through the ninth round, the man's landed a good, solid combination. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. You had to see it to believe it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody a believer in the final 60 seconds. And this is why you understand the dimension of this sport like no other sport. At the end of this, how both participants will have mutual great respect for each other. There's the combo to the body. Bam Bam's proving to be elusive. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Listen, can't let this go to the scorecard. You have to knock him out. Don't play that. Look at it. You're ahead on points. You have this one, okay? Be smart in the last round. Keep on him. Don't give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches off. This has been a real good one tonight. And now it comes down to this. The final round. Move, move. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Watch that! The man's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Bam Bam's right hand scores well. Man's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Nice work, great technique. The combo lands. The man's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it, and then he's letting the punches go, letting the hands follow. 
Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right on the mark. Double jab. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. He's committed to the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Here's our ring announcer with the results of what was a very, very good fight. The man's your winner by majority decision. Very close fight. But more importantly, a satisfying fight for everybody, especially the fans. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.